Hi dear friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to pass check return entry in Tally ERP9. These are the scenarios of that entry. I will tell you first one want to pass on sales entry. Normally this is a credit sale. Here ABC company is our customer. ABC company account adapted to sales account. Then next one actually customer is giving check against that sales so that means that time you want to pass one receipt entry here pass receipt entry through receipt voucher in tally then in that receipt voucher you want to mention your bank account then to customer because the customer is giving check to you regarding that sales entry then after that you are submitting that check into your bank but that check was written. So that time you want to pass one another entry for the check written. That's entry name is journal voucher. You want to pass one journal voucher for that check written. So open that journal voucher, then you want to pass like this company account adapted to bank. That means your customer account adapted to bank. I will show you how it's work in the tally. The first one is sales entry. I will show how to pass sales entry in tally. This normally all of them know about how to pass sales entry in tally. So I just open that sales entry here. Display their book. Display their book. Then changing the period. So first one is sales. This is a normal sales entry. Party conducted to sales. Which item you are filling? This is a sales entry. Okay. Then next one is a receipt entry. So here I am passing one receipt against that sales entry that is check receipt. So I will show you. You can see the sales happened in 1120, but actually receipt is in 10 1 2020. That means this is a PDC receipt. For the if you are passing any PDC entry. Actually, you just assume the today date is 1-1-2020, but customer giving check to you and the PDC check, the check date is 10 January 2020. So that time you want to click this post date button. Okay, then you enter in the bank, then your company customer name, select against that bill and the normal way you can pass one receipt entry here, check. Then the instrument number that means check number, check date. It is a check date. Then enter PDC receipt date. You can mention PDC note. If you want in remarks, you can mention that one. Then save this one. So it is treated as a PDC voucher. Okay. That means when you are passing the PDC receipt or PDC payment, that time you want to click that PDC button here. When the rate is read, the time automatically tally convert that PDC voucher into regular voucher okay because that is the reason it is not showing here pdc because i am passing check returns entry in 11 1 2020 okay so the third scenario is check return this is a check return entry ABC, that means you want to debit your customer then again credit your bank i will show you in tally so this is a check return entry before that you, you want to maintain separate register for the check return so that time you you can create one more voucher type so here i am created one more voucher type this is the voucher type accounts info voucher alter here i am creating one register for that that's a check bounce or return under channel okay so I can easily find out total number of check return through this register. So again, I'm going to that particular entry. Here, this is a check bounce entry, journal entry. Then select this journal. Then to put the date. That means 11 1 2020. Then set. If check is written, so we want to select customer. Can debit the customer type the figure of that check then mention here new reference you can select the new reference 
put the reference number here you can use your um, invoice number then enter 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 again to bank select your bank then put the figure then enter and save it. so here you can see your bank balance is zero then enter check the customer report display accounts book ledger select abc company so this outstanding balance is 10500 is a outstanding balance there is a one sales then one receipt check bond entry so the balance is 10500 is a outstanding balance after that you can pass bank reconciliation entry this is the procedure for passing bank reconciliation come to gate of tally then select banking then select bank reconciliation select your bank name here you can see the first one there is a receipt entry second one journal entry actually this is a check receipt then this is a check bonds entry check receipt entry is 10 11 2020 is the date this is a, a check collecting entry from our customer actually it, it was not cleared from our bank but we want to reconcile this entry so you can put the reconcile date here when you are passing the check returns entry that same day you can that same date you can type here so i am going to enter 11 1 2020 then the next one is check return entry that is 11 1 2020 so i am going to reconcile that entry also here i am selecting that one the same date 11 1 2020 before reconciling as per here you can see this is your bank balance 10,500 actually this check was written so you you have no balance in your bank so I am going to reconcile this entry then enter then save after the reconcile you check your bank reconciliation statement bank reconciliation select your bank name the bank balance is nil in this way you can reconsider your bank statement thanks for watching my youtube channel please subscribe my channel for getting more free videos